What is going on you guys? It's your boy Avery here and I wanted to bring you a stun deck profile from the Remote Duel Invitational that happened back on the 20th and as I'm making this video this is the 24th. I actually didn't know that this deck list was out uh, until I was reading an article on TCG Player Infinite earlier today uh, and I really wanted to cover this because you know anytime that stun tops it's always an interesting thing to discuss especially when we you know, are in a time of Yu-Gi-Oh, at least nowadays, where the game is just so fast. You have things like Dragon Link that can just build a board, and it's very difficult to get around them. You have Tri Brigade, aka Bird Up, that can create insane boards with like Simor Bird of Divinity, then put out the Apex Avion for a negate, or put out the uh, Wind Barrier statue to lock you out of special summoning. And Stun really doesn't care about that. They're very similar to Invoke Dogmatica in the sense of they're like, well, we're going to stop you from making combos. We're going to stop you from playing Yu-Gi-Oh! And uh, this build, the original build that I had on here before I edited it for uh, the uh, remote duel deck list that came in like the top eight, I believe I actually had Robbie Cole's stun build, which was funny in of itself that it was only a, maybe a few card difference. Like if I had to guess like maybe five to ten card difference between the main and side deck. Uh, and then pretty much the extra deck was just completely different from each other. Um, like for the monster lineup, Literally, the only card I took out was two copies of Banisher, and then the rest of the monsters were the same, and then I just had to adjust some spells and take out some traps, and other than that, everything was the same. So it just goes to show that stun decks are very similar to one another in the sense of what they're trying to accomplish. It's more kind of you start experimenting with your deck size. Um, like I remember a while back when uh, my dad would play stun, uh, he would play cards like Dimension Guardian, which acted like Phantom Knight's Wing. Um, but it didn't just prevent it from being destroyed by battle or by card effects, I think. Let me uh, check here real quick uh, if it will pop up. Because Dimension Guardian is actually quite a bust card. Yeah, Dimension Guardian. You activate this card by targeting a face of attack position monster you control. It cannot be destroyed by battle or by card effects. And if the target monster leaves the field, then Dimension Guardian is destroyed. Very similar to Phantom Knight's Wing, except it's a continuous trap and not a uh, normal trap. So it's another card that I have seen stun decks uh, play. Not just my dad, because, you know, he's a troll. He doesn't want to play the meta. So anyway, let's go ahead and get into this deck list here. Uh, we're playing three Inspector Border, three Fossil Dino, one Banisher, and then the Dark Magician Red Eyes package along with the three Red Eyes Fusion. You know, if you're playing Stun, you've got to play Dragoon. It's so damn good. Um, it's, it's, it's a win con. It really is. You know, if you're able to open up Red Eyes Fusion and, like, all back row, you bring out Dragoon and set, you know, three back row, leave a card in your hand, is just incredible. I mean, it's like dropping an Inspector Border with four back row. It's just that good. For the rest of the spells, we have one Feather Duster, three Extrab, one Card of Demise, two Duality, one Moon Mirror Shield. I'm very surprised that this player did not opt to play Prosperity, because keep in mind with Prosperity, you get to choose the cards from your extra deck that you banish, whereas with Extrab, you don't get to choose, but you draw two cards instead of just adding one. Granted, with stun, you want to draw as many cards as you can. Sometimes you're going to need more than just that one card to get you to that next turn or to get you to where you need to be in the game. You know, Prosperity may be able to get you one card, like say a TC Boo or a Storming Mirror Force or what have you. But keep in mind that number one, the opponent knows what card is in your hand. They may be able to play around it. Two, Extra, once again, gets you two cards that if those two cards can get you to game more efficiently than Prosperity, then even though you can't control what you ban, out of your extra deck, it, if it ends up getting you the victory at the end of the day, then it really doesn't matter. So, but I am curious, I am uh, uh, surprised to see that he's not at least playing like extra and prosperity or just prosperity um, because I know in the previous build I had um, it, it had three extra, two dualities, and one prosperity. So, just sort of player preference. Uh, for the traps, we're playing double Storming Mirror Force, double Waking the Dragons, three Ice Dragons Prison, two Phantom Knight's Wing, three TC Boo, one Imperial Order, three Strike, three Judgment, and two Warning. It's your typical stun trap lineup. Um, you know, we have the extra deck here for the Waking the Dragon targets, minus Dragoons, obviously. Um, which, actually, I think you can bring this out off of, uh, yeah, you can bring out Dragoons off Waking the Dragons, I'm pretty sure. So... You know, just, it's your typical stun trap lineup. You drop an inspector border, you set your back row, you lock out the opponent. It's it's a fun time. <laughs> For the side deck, we're playing three evenly matched, three droplets, three lightning storm, three droll lockbird, and three artifact lancia. Make, make subtractions and additions of what you need to do for down here. I mean, obviously not everybody can afford droplets and lightning storms and all that. So, you know, 
do, do what you got to do. <laughs> For the extra, um, pretty much just all uh, <laughs> Waking the Dragons targets and um, ints in the form of Maximus targets. We're playing two Mega Clops, three Ultimate Falcon, two ints, three Last Warrior, three Dragoons, and two Blue Eyes Alternative Ultimate Dragon. At first I was wondering, how the hell does he get this out? And then I'm like, oh, duh, Waking the Dragons. Essentially, it's a Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon, same stats, um, but once a once during your turn, uh, you get to pop a card the opponent controls. If you fused it using a Blue Eyes uh, Alternative White Dragon, then... Um, you can pop up to three cards, which, you know, obviously that's not going to happen. You drop this out, you pop a card, you can't attack with it the turn you use that effect, or you just use it as a beat stick. Um, so yeah, I mean, that's, that's stun in a nutshell, you guys. I know this deck profile is a bit short, but I mean, you know, stun's pretty basic. You know, you shuffle up your hand here. I mean, this is a typical stun hand right here, three, four, five, some on the border, you set three and you pass. Not the best hand in the world because you got double storing mirror force, you don't have extra options. But that's typically what the deck does. One, two, three, four, five. This hand's a pile of ass, which goes to show you how stun can brick. Because literally, you're just going to set four here and hope that your Solemns and TC Boot can come in clutch. Uh, and then you're drawing into traps for the next three turns. So, um, yeah, you're probably just going to have to stall out so you can get to the Red Eyes Fusion. One, two, three, four, five. You play the Red Eyes Fusion, you make Dragoons, you set everything but the card of Demise. Um, and uh, you, you proceed to win from there. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, you have a couple different ways you could do this. You could do the duality, get yourself a trap card. You could set the Waking the Dragons and the trap you get, or just go for Red Eyes Fusion, make the Dragoons, and then set the Waking the Dragons and call it a day. Uh, really all depends on what you want to do with this. Um, I think personally I would go for the for the uh, Dragoons um, just because it's that good of a card. One, two, three, four, five. You go for Red Eyes Fusion, you make Dragoons, you, th you set three. Or even, you know, maybe just set two and then hold on to this for the discard fodder, or whatever you want to do. So yeah, guys, let me know what you think about uh, in this deck profile. This is uh, this is some good old stun. I'm actually going to build this because I pretty much have the cards uh, to make this uh, with what little of a collection I have left. Since, you know, I've kind of taken a step back from the game with no real life events. Because I don't want to deal with cheaters on remote duels because that's going to happen every time. I know I say that in almost every video, but I just like to reiterate that. So yeah, guys, let me know what you think in the comments below. And as always, thank you for watching and subscribe if you have not already.